Hello everyone, Grady Games here, and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. We are here, still in the city of Saint Denis, in my fancy getup. Uh, we have one more stranger mission over here. Wait, what? Hey, will you help a fella out? Uh, yeah, man. I think you need a little bit more than 25 cents, though. Listen, you have to take this. Oh, thanks, dude. You probably should have sold that for some money, but I'll take it. Uh, anyway, guys, we're <laughs> we're here. Oh. <laughs> thanks, dude. Uh, you gave me a uh, a hot tip there, I guess. But anyway, uh, we are here in the big city still in my fancy getup. We have one more stranger mission to do in here. Brother Dorkins. <laughs> Brother Dorkins has another mission for us here. Uh, and then we'll jump back into some of the main story missions, I guess. Uh, just to uh, wrap up everything that happened last episode, uh, me and uh, Mary Linton went on a date in the theater. And after the show was over... I escorted her to the trolley. Uh, she asked me to run away with her. And Arthur, or I, I guess, said no uh, because we didn't have enough money. Uh, we're waiting for one big score. He said we were trying to get the money uh, from Blackwater or whatever. Uh, and then he would run away with Mary. So who knows if we'll ever actually see Mary again. I'm sure we will uh, sometime in the future here. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, see what Brother Dorkins has for us here. Down M. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None take him. None take oh, come on, kid. Hey, stop. These kids that are worse. Don't hurt him, please. Oh, man. <laughs> I gotta chase down another kid. Oh, this sucks. Oh man, not again. I hope this one's relatively short on like the last one. Alright, thanks dude. Get off me. Where's my watch, you little weak? Oh man. I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Hey, 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 hey. Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Whoa. Thanks, mister. All right, kid. All right, well, he dropped the crucifix, so at least I don't have to continue chasing him down. That wasn't hey, too hard. You want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Huh? Now. I mean, I, hey, Help. Uh, Help! Hold on! This man is bothering me! Now. Someone help me! Officer! Help! Oh, really? Um... I'm trying to remember who that was. Oh, you know what? She... That was the lady, um... That was the wife of Mr. Downs, one of the early, uh, Leopold Strauss debtors. Yeah, 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 that's who that is. Uh, the one with the son and her husband died, and I still collected the debt because I'm a horrible person. Well, things just got real. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so, um, I guess she got forced into prostitution after her husband died and I took all their money. Woo, lawman. Alright, let's just chill out here. He, you ain't seen nothing. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, that was the guy uh, back at the Horseshoe Overlook place uh, that had the farm. And then they had to move out of the house and everything. That's... Oh, man. Now I feel not great. And Leopold Strauss actually has another mission for us back at camp. So I don't even know if I want to do that. All right, there's a lawman there. Is he going to come for me? 
mean, I didn't really do anything. Believe it or not. All right, is this... So I need to go to that yellow blob... <laughs> that yellow blob on the map. Am I going to be able to get past these lawmen without them coming after me? Or I don't know how that works. Yeah, there's like a lawman sitting right there. Beg your pardon. All right, I'm just going to walk. He's not doing anything. Hey, friend. What? <laughs> oh my god. Are you serious? Uh, that seems pretty broken, to be honest with you. He was standing right outside the church that I needed to go to. Damn. Well, starting things off great. Alright, it looks like they disappeared, so I should be able to just do it then. Good, 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 good. Mr. Morgan! Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy's... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but... <laughs> Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Well, I did my good deed, uh, good deed for the day. Hey, little man. That guy's the guy that busted me. Um, all right, so I think that's all the stranger missions. If I find one uh, while riding out here, I'll, I'll definitely do it. Uh, we do have a couple missions on the map. Um, I thought I saw an Albert uh, Mason mission, the photographer, at some point, but I don't see it anymore. Uh, we can go to the professor that gave us the mission to go get the 100 gallons of moonshine. Uh, we might do that at some point, but for now, I'm actually, while we're on it, and uh, Mrs. Downs was right there, we'll go ahead and uh, ride on over, see what Leopold Strauss has for us. Hopefully, we don't have to collect any more debts. Maybe he has, maybe he's had a change of heart or something like that, but I'm going to ride out there. If I come across something, I'll, I'll definitely tune back in, but uh, I'll see you guys back at camp. All right, guys, here we go, back at camp. Uh, Leopold Strauss is actually... Uh, so the main house is right back that way. Leopold Sh uh, Strauss is at this, like, little, like, <laughs> fishing cabin or something like that. I don't know, like a guest house, I guess you could call it. Uh, kind of beaten down. Oh, can I not hop up there? Okay. <laughs> I'll walk around. I'll walk around, I guess. Yeah, it's like a, it's like an abandoned shack. So maybe he, uh, maybe he has something, like, shady going on back here. How can I help you? How can I be a, of Still assistance? Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, great, more debts. I I don't know about that cough that just happened. That seems very unusual that they would put that like in the middle of a cutscene. Huh, I don't know, very, very suspicious. Rustling, cattle rustling from uncle. And then there we go at the Fisherman Peak. Should we do that? Hmm. 
I mean, it is right there behind Braithwaite Matter, so let's go ahead and ride on out there um, and see. Uh, and see what's up with that guy. See if we can go collect a debt for our eventual retreat to another country. Uh, I will see you guys out there. Alright guys, here we are. We are riding up on <laughs> Algy, Algy Davison's location here. Uh, looks like he has a, a little bit of a shack. Alright, do I gotta find this guy? Alright, I guess I do. Algy! Where you at, fam? Alright, not in there. Not in there. He is a fisherman. I don't see anybody by the water. I'm assuming he's at home. Algy! Where you at, fam? Seriously, where <laughs> where is this guy? Algae? Um K right, Maybe he is by the water? Uh, oh, there he is. Oh, wow. Found him. <laughs> Man, he is getting wasted. You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. You remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent is in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. Ooh, you better not be trying to pull anything, Algy. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. You take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just uh, handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies. You weren't catching fish. Now, come on. Let's get us that debt. So this is as fast as I can go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Algy, you better not be uh, trying to pull anything here, pal. Oh, he's got a son. Huh. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Let's play small. Hmm. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. Right there, miss. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. He's got a nut, dude. There's a knife sitting right there, Algy. Come take it. It's right here. Oh, yep. He's got a box. Ah, he's got the knife. I'll cut your damn head. Clean off. No, you won't, old man. Where did the sun go? That's rough. I saw the knife. I knew what was happening. I should have stepped away. I should have just walked away. I hope his son's a lot smarter. Don't attack me now. Man, that's he that was heavy. <laughs> that was rough. That is a little rough. I will admit. Alright, where's the... Ah. 
At least he was saying he was smart. He tried to trade. He almost got me. If he would have got a uh, good stab on me, he would have he would have had me. Ooh, there's a shoddy gun. Shoddy gun? I just called it a shoddy gun. Like I'm a child. A shotgun above the mantle. A shoddy gun. Oh my gosh. Alright. Now listen, son. I'm not gonna hurt you. Son, I wanna get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. This some in my footlocker. I can't. I've been keeping it away from them. Ain't that lucky. All right, I'm sorry, son. I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. Oh, that's rough. It sounds like the son kind of has a uh, his dad's a little bit of a drunkard, but it, the son seems like a good kid. The son seems like a good kid, at least. Hopefully, he'll uh, go far in life. I still don't feel good about it. I just beat that... I <laughs> beat his dad up in front of him. That's not... That's never any good. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to make the short trip back to camp. Luckily, I can just go across the river. Uh, there's a couple missions here. Mary Beth has one for us, and then also Hosea. Uh, probably do the uh, Mary Beth one uh, over the Hosea one, actually. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how much time we have in this episode. I might do both. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, guys, I'll see you back at camp. All right, guys, here we go. I'm back at camp. I'm about to go talk to Mary Beth. I don't know if I've ever done a uh, Mary Beth mission before. I can't recall, uh, but let's see what she Hello, has Mary for us Beth. here. How are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. <laughs> If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? Got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. <laughs> we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. <laughs> oh, oh man. Ahead. I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Oh, I'm ready for this. She is fired up. She's in road? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. Well, what do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Oh, Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. <laughs> you do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were fish. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Oh man, here we go. 
Grimshaw, old Grimshaw's fired up. She's about ready to go in here, guns a-blazing, I bet. Gentlemen such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said. Oh. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. All right, here we go. Game time. All right, horse, you can stay behind. All right, we got to break the lock. Oh, I should have just kicked it open and going guns blazing. We're stealing. All right, where's she at? All right, those rooms are like locked. Wait, do I gotta kick that? Alright, let's kick, let's just kick in some doors here. Bam. Hey. Hang on, let me check the other room. Was that it? Alright, I guess, I guess that was it. It was just two people. I thought there were to be more. Alright, come on, Tilly. Let's get you out of here. I thought there was. Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Oh man. Oh, this isn't my horse. I'll never catch anything on this horse. <laughs> All right, Miss Grimshaw. Yeah, yeah, he's right there. All right, I guess I gotta, I guess I gotta shoot him because she's not doing very well. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, I think that last one's the boss. Last of women, we'll take him back to Tilly. Oh, wait a minute. There was five. Uh, she said there was five of them. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Come here, you SOB. Oh, there ain't gonna be no war. Can I reach? I got him. Oh, quiet down. Can you get out of here, horse? Are you defending are you defending your owner? Make these nice and tight. Alright. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. Yes, Mom. With pleasure. Alright, Isabella, nice to see you. Way to show up. Man, that horse definitely has some like freckles on it. Not freckles, but spots. What you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an E? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. Who are you running with? You don't worry about that now. She didn't tell me nothing. This rope is cutting into me. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> All right, wait, what did she do? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry, you'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. 
She'll screw you over like she did me. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. Sure thing, ma'am. Here you go. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Mm. Go on. Finish the bastard off. All right, we're gonna we're gonna respect Tilly's uh, Tilly's wishes on this one. Let's get you home. Yeah. Now get out of here. Go tell your cousins to leave us alone. All right. Anyway, hopefully that won't come to bite us in the butt. Oh, there's a uh, stranger mission here. Let's um, hmm. All right, let's go do that. Let's go do the stranger mission while we're here, and we'll call it a day. Even though I did say that I might do the Jose mission, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do the stranger mission, then we'll call it a day. Whoa. Oh, I remember these guys. These are the guys that uh, broke free, I think. What you fools up to? Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault to Darky White. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come on. Whoa. You really live it. Enough. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. Even for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had to hear what you <laughs> No. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Oh man, this isn't gonna end well. I love nice fellas. Don't you start up again? Just shut up. You shut up. I uh I haven't been in roads since the uh the killing of the bra Grays and the Braithwaites. Where am I supposed to find these things anyway? Okay, there's one. Uh, hey, mister, could you, uh, move? Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Listen, pal. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? <clears throat> Whoa! <clears throat> Listen, pal, do you really want to mess with me? Come on, guy. Man, this guy's tough, actually. Well, there ain't no law here, because I killed the Grease. Man, this guy... Okay, now he's coming back. Oh, there's a hammer fist. Ooh, there we go. Alright, let's take this, uh, this uh, poster down. Mr. Black and Mr. White. That's their real names? 
interesting. They're both worth 40 bucks. If they were worth a little bit more, I might, uh, might, uh, turn them in myself. It, it doesn't say what they do, that, or did, though. Alright, that's fine. We'll take that one, then. One of five? Dang, man. Show me something I haven't seen. Um... Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna start anything. Let's go take this down while the uh, the carriage or the yeah the carriage horse carriage is uh, blocking our view. What was this? There was like another stranger off this way. All right, forget it. Oh, there's one. Okay. Wait, what am I? Okay, I was like locked into a uh, cutscene there. I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your... Horse, Isabella, I need you. Alright, I guess we gotta wait until this guy goes out. Gavin? Gavin? <laughs> Has anyone seen Gavin? Uh, no, but... I gotta wait till this guy gets out of the city a little bit. Then I'm gonna lasso him, take the poster. All right, this should be good. Excuse me. Hey, 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 hey! No, no, no! I asked you nicely for that poster. You didn't give it to me. Get this off of me! No, sir. No, I will not. <laughs> All right, see you, buddy. Well, I'll know where to find you. Who was yelling for Gavin up this way? Hey, Mister. Hey, partner. All right, I'm not wanted, right? I don't think so, at least. Okay, so there's a poster there. We need two more. Witness for kidnapping. Where are you, bruh? How did they know it was me? <laughs> also, I lost my fancy hat, and I'm a little upset. Ah, there we go. Much better. How did they know it was me, though? All right, I took that guy out into the country. He did fire a couple shots, but I hogtied him. And now somehow they they know it was me. You done good, girl. That's a little upsetting. Is there one at this church? Maybe I can just snag one real quick. While I'm waiting. No. You got a ten dollar bounty for that? Come on, fam. All right, where where the heck are the rest of these posters? Okay, so they're not on the map. That's not helpful at all. You would think, okay, so the, why isn't there one at the railroad? Anyway, while we're here, let's just let's just pop inside and see if there is one in there. Maybe there is one. And uh, I'll pay my bounty real quick so we don't have to worry about those guys. Uh, hey, pal. Station clerk? Okay. Pay bounty, please? I don't know who I'm paying it to, but... Uh, okay, so there is a poster in here. I just had to come inside to get it. I'll just go ahead and uh, snag that real quick. Alright, now the only other places that I can think of... I mean, there might be one at the bank where everybody does their business. 
They're banking yeah. business. All right, let's check in here real quick. Nothing. Uh, maybe the general store? Oh, there's a sheriff right there. Oh, no, this is the undertaker's office. And I can't get in there. All right, let's check the uh, the general store. All right, nothing in there. How about the gunsmith? Nope. All right, I'm gonna assume that it's at the uh, the sheriff's office. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there it is. It's on the uh, bounty board. Nailed it. <laughs> that took way too long. Damn that bounty hunter. Okay, girl. That guy, uh... was really kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest. Yeah. There we go. Good job, horse. Got hops. Oh, I forgot to bring him some food. How was in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It was a murder? It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, he had it coming. <laughs> he... I don't like to say. Well... Oh, I get to burn the posters. Ain't Great. No business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. No problem, partner. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, well, I'm gonna leave it off there. Uh, we have a couple missions. Uh, next episode, we'll probably go ahead and get this 100 gallons of uh, moonshine that the professor wanted in. Saint Denis, and then we'll stop by uh, Hosea, see what he has for us here. Uh, so, anyway, guys, thanks for so much for watching the episode. If you did enjoy, please definitely drop a like and a comment below. If you would like to see more episodes of Red Dead Redemption in the future, please definitely hit that subscribe button. I do put out daily gaming videos, uh, so be sure to do that uh, to see future episodes. And I will see you guys on the next episode.